Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine and in today's video I will be doing the other mother makeup look and y'all this is our last Halloween makeup look of the year I'm so sad, but I feel like it's a good one. So let's hop right into it Um, so first things first i'm gonna go ahead and cover my brows I'm, just taking a glue stick and doing the same thing I have been doing in all of the other Halloween videos lately So, um, yeah, just covering them up um, so I decided to do the other mother because I seen a video maybe like two or three years ago on Halloween I don't remember who did it, but I thought it was so Freaking cool and it was so creepy and it was the other mother and I was like, oh, I wish I could do makeup like that and I could do it one day so I wanted to try to tackle it this year and I did and low-key. I feel like I did a fairly good job Of course, there were a few things that I feel like I could have changed but I feel like I did a really good job overall. And honestly, this was the quickest makeup look I've done, believe it or not. Like this literally took me probably like 40 minutes. And this is the this is the quickest one I've done, which it looks really intricate, but that's a very surprising thing to me. So anyway, yeah, we just skipped this whole part. So I went ahead and covered my brows with the powder. And now I'm taking the Mayron Paradise paint in the color white. And I'm just carving out my face with the paint, covering everything up. Um I'm gonna go back in later with black paint and really shape um, the shape of my face and the outline of my face. So I just kind of left the sides um, uncovered. Now I'm just taking a sponge and I'm just, just blending all of the white makeup out with that. Just because I feel like it was really streaky for my brush. So I wanted it to be like very opaque and very, um, what is the word? Um, I don't know. It escapes me right now. I'm really having brain fog right now. But yeah, I just wanted it to be, oh my God, continuous? I don't know the word I'm trying to say. But anyway, you guys, now I'm taking the black Mayron Paradise paint and I am carving out my face. I'm gonna be um, going back and forth, changing the shape probably like I think three or four times um, because I just wasn't really happy with it. And this is one of the things I wish I would've done differently. I wish I would've had a exact face shape before I started instead of like playing around with it. I feel like it would've been easier. Probably would've cut off an extra 10 minutes. It would've been like a 25 minute look. Um, but yeah, so you can see the black paint mixing with some of the white and it's like kind of creating a gray. But if you just go back over that with black, it'll just be fully blacked out and it won't look gray anymore. So here I'm just creating like my cheekbones and um, I'm going in with this big brush to start, but you'll see me go in later with like a smaller brush. And um, yeah, this is like the part I wish I would've just, ugh, I wish I didn't have, I would've had a plan, okay? Don't be me, don't just not know what you're doing. Have a plan, but if you're watching this video, probably can you learn from my mistakes. So now I'm just taking that same black paint and I'm carving on my eyebrows to look kind of like sad, furrowed, a little furrowed brow. Drawing a little furrow to brow. And um, yeah, this was really easy. It was just two little squiggles. Um, and then I just kind of made them thicker on the one end. And now I'm jumping back down to the cheeks and I'm kind of doing a little bit of shading. Um, I'm kind of all over the place with this look because like I said, I really didn't have an idea. And usually I have an idea of what I'm doing. I did not this time. So now I'm taking that black paint and I'm chiseling out my chin shape. So I wanted it to look very boxy. And as you can see here, I was like, nope, we doing different cheekbones. So now I'm using that same brush I used for my eyebrows and I'm making my cheekbones even higher and very, very straight. I kind of wanted it to look a little bit like very jagged, a very jagged look. And um, she kind of looked like that on the movie too. So. I feel like it worked. Now I'm just taking some black eyeshadow and I'm basically just putting that black eyeshadow all in my crease and just creating um, a hollow effect. Um, my eyes are gonna be covered up with buttons so it really does not have to be perfect but it does create a shadow so that it just, you know, blends better, looks better. Now I'm going back down to the cheeks and I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm kind of blending out the edges and I just felt like this looked so dumb. Y'all, I was like, what the heck? Why is it not blending out? I think I drew them too low. I think I drew them too far in. So I was like, here, we gonna do this. So I took some white eyeshadow and I started blending that up to give 
the effect of more face you know what i'm saying so i feel like this worked really well because it gave me a little bit more area to work with and then it created a nice little gradient gray um shadow underneath the fake cheekbone So now I'm just taking that black paint again and I'm carving out longer and pointier nasal holes. So I basically just drew like two little like triangles above like my nose holes just so it looked very sharp, very pointy. And now I'm just taking that same, actually this is not black eyeshadow, this is actually gray eyeshadow. And, but it basically looks like the same color as we used before. And I'm just basically chiseling on my nose. A very harsh chisel, a very, very sharp chisel. Um, I wanted it to be a little over exaggerated, so I low key went ham with it. I was like, low key looking like a little bit like Michael Jackson. I'm not gonna lie, like, I was like, dang, why does this look like Michael Jackson a little bit? But it turns out in the end. So now I'm taking some black liquid liner. I think this is like the makeup for everyone. And I'm just starting to draw the cracks in my face. Now this first crack, I hated. I was like, girl, that looked like a curl. Why did I do that? So I tried to make the next one like super like not curly and I felt like, dang, that looked like too straight. So then I found a good middle ground where it was just like a nice little squiggly, but not too squiggly not too curly you know it ended up working out it all looked good so they're like the little cracks and obviously you can see me like making some parts thick so it looks like there is um something like behind the cracks you know what i'm saying like it's almost like a mask in a sense now i'm just taking some black liner and I am drawing my lips in and then I'm taking a black lipstick and filling it in when you do your lips make sure you do draw them out to a little point so that your lips look nice and elongated and very very proper 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 British scary lip that's what I would say and now I'm just taking that same black liner and I'm drawing my little mully mole on top of my lip and you guys, this is pretty much the look. It's really coming together. Now we just gotta do our neck and we're pretty much done. So I just took that same white paint, drew a little neck bone, a little spinal cord. Um, I seen a lot of other videos and they got really intricate with the necks, but I was like, mm, you can barely see mine. So I was like, we gonna cut corners, get a little lazy with it. So I basically just drew a spinal cord, blacked out the sides, and then I'm gonna be taking a black eyeshadow and just creating like little hollows along my spinal cord. So it just kind of has like a little vertebrae effect. You know what I mean? And yeah, you guys, this is gonna be the final look. I glued my buttons on my eyeballs with eyelash glue and you, no, I cannot see a thing at all. That's why I'm not doing much posing. It's just me moving my head because I couldn't, I didn't know what I was doing. But yeah, you guys, I hope you liked this video and I hope you guys liked my Halloween series from this year. Woo, I had to take these off to the outro. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next year for the Halloween videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.